dear 2023. It's, it's that time of the year again where I get to speak pretty candidly to you guys, and I'm pretty excited about this one. Again, I usually do these pretty uncut. Um, I'm going to probably take some questions from the Q&A that I posted on the community post uh, two days ago. Uh, to, so that might be a little bit more cut up. But this uh, beginning section where I'm kind of just talking about everything uh, will remain relatively uncut, hopefully, because I, like I said, I like to keep it pretty candid because this is the time of the year where I get to really self-reflect and uh, I guess let you guys in on more personal stuff in terms uh, aside from what I usually do, which is anime reactions and everything else on, on the main channel, the non-reaction channel. So um, I'm excited for this one, but happy new year to all of you. If you're new to the channel, uh, I do one of these every year. You can go back and see tw uh, Dear 2021 and Dear 2022 and see uh, all the, the the stuff I talked about in those because it's, it's pretty daunting. I, I go back usually every year and listen to them. And it's pretty daunting uh, hearing my perspective on everything at the time and how much it changes over time. Um, this time last year, I wrote them down. Uh, so uh, I, I like to also take this trip down memory lane. One year ago today, um, we were still doing Boruto. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, I don't remember what episode we were on, uh, but we were finishing up Jujutsu Kaisen, which I cannot believe that was one year ago. This feels like several years ago. Um, Demon Slayer Season 2 was still kind of uh, starting. I think it was on like Episode 3. And I was just about to start Dragon Ball Z Abridged, Hunter x Hunter, and One Piece. And at the time that I'm recording this, um, I'm about to, after this, go watch, I think, the sixth to last episode of Hunter x Hunter. So it's kind of kind of sad that that journey is kind of coming to an end. But on the flip side of things, uh, One Piece, I think I'm at 300 or so, something like that. Um, so I've kind of just started to dent One Piece after a year, which it goes to be expected with the, the sheer monstrosity that that show is. Um, and of course, we finished Dragon Ball Z abridged up uh, a couple months ago. But across the board, just fantastic shows that I've just been so into. I mean, guys, I have I have a One Piece theory wall. I mean, how far have we fallen as individuals that uh, that this is my life now? Um, so just to uh, kind of go back uh, again, this year has been very high highs, very low lows. I went through a really tough uh, long term breakup that again, I don't really usually talk about my personal life, but this is usually the one time of the year that I kind of just get a little bit out there. You guys get like a little peek of me. Um, but I, I guess I'm more candid usually on my Twitch. Uh, where I, I just kind of like, I, I give general updates on my life uh, every now and then. Um, but yeah, I went through a really hard long-term breakup, um, which I think I went, I, I, I learned a lot as a person and I had a lot of own self-reflecting to do uh, through that. And while it was really difficult, again, like I said, I had some really high highs uh, to juxtapose. Can I use juxtapose there with that? Um, I really did get out of my comfort zone this year, uh, to say the least. I usually don't like taking trips. Ever since I started doing YouTube full time, I've been hesitant to like take trips and stuff because I don't like to think of myself as a workaholic by any means. But anytime I'm not working, I'm very, very stressed out. Maybe I'm a workaholic. I don't know. Either way, I don't like taking trips because anytime I'm not working, anytime I'm spending just, you know, hanging out, I feel kind of stressed. Uh, that I'm not doing anything for the YouTube channel, for the Patreon, etc. Um, and I think I've kind of given myself a little bit more leeway in terms of that this year. I went to Buffalo to visit my friend Willie, uh, went to San Diego for TwitchCon, went to Las Vegas for, um, what was the fight tournament called? Either way, went to Las Vegas for the first time. Vegas is awesome, by the way. Um, and went to Houston for Anime Matsuri, the convention, which was absolutely amazing as well. So I took four, I mean, Houston, I live in Texas, so it's not that far, but like I took four pretty big, cool trips this year, not out of the country or anything, but still like flying all, all across the United States and getting to see more people, getting to meet new people. It's just, it's it really has been fantastic. And like I said, it, it was those very high peaks and very low lows that made this year what it was for me. Um, I hope the I hope it's been relatively the same for you guys. I hope you guys have had your high moments um, to match those low moments. And even though not every year is going to have really cool, crazy highlights, you know, it's something to look forward to for the next year. 
Uh, I, I know personally, um, 2021 was definitely more lows than highs. Um, 2020, I think, was a, a really high year for me whenever I first was able to move out and start doing content creation full time. And now I'm going on, I guess this would be my third year doing content creation full time. And that's another piece of uh, something I kind of wanted to talk about was uh, the last, I would say two to three months. And again, I'm going to get pretty candid here. Um, the reaction channel is always going to be the reaction channel, right? Like it succeeds based on what I'm watching, where I'm, where I'm at in the show. Like, it's just kind of how it is. Like the views will go up and down. Uh, it's to be expected. Um, as for the main channel, I, I call it the main channel. It's the non-reaction channel. It's just because the reaction channel is strictly just everything reactions. And then the main channel is just literally everything else. It's not to say that I Shinobi is like an afterthought. If anything, I Shinobi there are much more hours and editing and stuff gone into that um, than Jack the Bus. Um, but again, realistically, so the last probably three or four months um, have been some of the lowest in a long, long time for Jack the Bus, for the Jack the Bus channel. And despite that, surprisingly, the past four or five months, I've been more inspired than I feel like I've ever been in terms of the Jack the Bus channel. Um, while the lose the 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 views and the subs are at a at a multi-year low, I feel like mentally I'm like at a multi-year high, and I don't know if it's just uh, sheer ignorance in my brain or if it's just uh, the optimist in me, but. Um, doing what I do and kind of bringing myself back down to earth every time a video flops, I'm just like, all right, go on to the next. We just, we just keep creating. Um, and I haven't had that feeling in a long time. I knew views and stuff would drop after I finished Kakarot. And although I still do Dragon Ball Z content, uh, the Kakarot series, the Attack on Titan series, those were both very successful series. And it's hard to follow up on a channel with that kind of views and just do like sporadic videos because long running series are going to do better if they're successful because people are going to come back and back and back and back. It's harder to get these standalone videos to succeed. Um, so I knew that going into it, but usually it still hurts really bad when videos just constantly flop, constantly flop. And that's what I've experienced a lot lately is this videos flopping, flopping, flopping for months on end. Um, and Again, I'm optimistic, but I'm still realistic. Like it does get me down sometimes whenever, you know, you put tens hours of tens of tens and tens and ten, maybe sometimes a hundred hours into planning a video, editing a video, like having a, a, you know, there are some videos that just, there's so much planning and, and thought that goes behind it. You could say it takes a hundred hours, um, that it hurts whenever it fails. It's just how it is. I mean, that's just life. Um, but I've shocked myself more than I, I feel like I'm rambling. I, I never know if I'm rambling. I've shocked myself more than I ever could have thought of this year with how positive I've maintained my mental uh, in terms of videos. I don't know if this is a fleeting feeling. I don't know if this is how long this is going to last. Um, maybe it'll last until videos start really popping off. But even then, I don't feel like videos have to pop off for me to feel happy anymore. Uh, I don't think it ever did. It was still a cool feeling. And it is still a really cool feeling whenever videos start spiking and it gets a million views or whatever. And I'm still working for that. I'm still grinding for that. I'm still trying to plan videos that I'm like, okay, I think this could do really well. I think I think uh, the I think they would really like watching this. You know what I mean? Um, it's just a balance. It's, it's the same balance as work, life, social. Um, I still haven't exactly figured out the social uh, balance of life. Um, I think I'm slowly starting to figure out the work life balance a little bit more year by year, maybe a tiny bit like micro percentages. Um, but I can definitely, definitely see some positive changes. Now, I didn't set a view or sub count goal um last year and i don't think i will this year i think that in 2021 i set like specific number goals i'm like jack that is like psychotic i mean it's cool to set number goals for yourself but like i was like so analytical and i still am but not to that 
it was bad. Um, I would like to set somewhat of, of goals for the channels at the very least, though. Um, I Shinobi this year, I would like to go all 365 days and not miss an upload. I think it's very doable. I think sometimes I get in my own head uh, in terms of working ahead. Um, I probably uploaded like 320 days of the year this year. Um, I'm still feeling pretty gassed up, you know? Um, like, I, I feel like I'm not really running on empty uh, hitting the end of the year. Um, so I think it's very doable. Jack the Bus, on the other hand, uh, is a lot harder to keep up with because whenever I'm recording, editing all that stuff for the reaction channel, and I'm like, I do all this, I'm like, okay, now time to start planning for the main channel. It's like, it's like, okay, I'm a little tired. Um, but that's why I, I've been trying to get better and better about delegating. I mean, shout out the uh, people that have edited for me or are currently editing for me, Lay, Foxy, uh, Willie, who's killing it now, uh, uh, has no time to edit for me, honestly. Um, Chad, uh, uh, Scaldris, a, a bunch of people have edited for me, uh, either come and gone over the years, have 1 million percent been lifesavers um, in terms of being you know realistic with me like back and forth and and helping me delegate because i'm still bad at it and still trying to get used to it uh, i've always been that way i've always wanted to be the most hands-on and no like don't don't help me like i can do this but i can't always realistically do it by myself um and i think i've gotten better at that um so yeah uh overall uh, i wanted to kind of cap off this section uh, with just a, a thank you uh, for being patient with me. Um, thank you for all the all the love on the channel. I know people are still really enjoying One Piece. Uh, Sad Hunter Hunter's coming to an end. Uh, we'll talk about next series here in a sec. Um, and yeah, if you're over watching on the non-reaction channel, the main channel, I appreciate you for supporting over there as well. I know it's not for... I know the reaction channel isn't for everyone. I know the main channel isn't for everyone. But either way, I appreciate you. So thank you for being here. Um, so that kind of sort of wraps up my, my super personal section, but we're also, I made a community post where I said, you guys can ask me any questions and I will sort of go through some of them. Uh, not all of them. Of course, I think I posted it like when I'm recording this, I posted it like seven hours ago and there's already a 193, uh, realistically that's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> so we'll go through some of them, some of the most liked and whatnot. Uh, and I'll give you guys a little bit of more insight into specific questions. Um, but I'll also respond to some comments on this video if if you'd like. Um, if there are any more specific about just this year in general or my life. Um, nothing much has changed, honestly. Still living in this uh, fantastic place. Still got Charlie, my cat, with me, cheering me along. Uh, still thinking about getting a second cat. I'm not 100% sure, though. I don't know. Um... But yeah, just still enjoying the hell out of what I do. So I appreciate you guys for getting me to this point. So without further ado, let's get to some questions. Um, Acid, who is regularly in the Twitch chat, shout out Acid. By the way, come to the Twitch streams. They're they're sick. They're fun. You can ask me these questions there. Acid said, the only question I have is what are some of the theories you have at the moment for One Piece? It could be any idea you have about the show. Just legitimately curious. Theories I have at the moment for One Piece, man. It's tough Um, because so at this point, uh, I've only posted up to them leaving Water 7 and head headed to Ennis Lobby on YouTube. And a couple days ago, I finished Ennis Lobby. Like I, I was, I'm so addicted to One Piece. It's actually disgusting. In terms of theories, I don't think I have any insane theories. It, it, it teased up Blackbeard really hard at the end of Ennis Lobby. I would love to have one for you. I don't know. One Piece is such an unpredictable, crazy world. If I come up, I, I, I don't want to just throw any out there because I don't really have any on the noggin. Uh, I'm going to make a video about the wall piece. That's what I've deemed it. And I will, I will genuinely like sit down and like look at it and come up with some really, really tight knit theories because I think I could based off the fact that I have a workspace over there for it. So I'm sorry, I don't have any concrete answers, but it keeps me guessing, man. And I love the hell out of it. Charlotte said, who's your favorite straw hat? Been loving your One Piece reactions. I appreciate it, Charlotte. Probably Sanji. I'm not going to lie. Uh, again, I've finished any Lobby. Frankie is, uh, I, I, I could see Frankie climbing the ranks. I'm not even going to lie. Luffy's tough because he's, he's kind of the captain, the main 
main character, so it's hard to kind of place him. And then Chopper kind of gets like an honorable mention. Maximus said, is there anything I can do to support you other than Twitch and Patreon? Because honestly, I can't get enough of your content. I don't want you to stop anytime soon. I, Maximus, you, uh, listen, if you're watching the YouTube videos on the regular, that is like by far more than enough support that I need. I appreciate all the support on Twitch and Patreon either way, but don't worry about me. I just appreciate you and glad you're enjoying everything I'm making. Manuel Manuel, so I just got to know, what would you rate Hunter Hunter on a scale from one to 10 as a follow-up? Would you place it in your personal top 10 favorite anime? Much love, bro. Peace, peace. I'm really glad you tagged on the peace, peace. And I usually don't like rating shows before I finish them. Um, it would definitely be in top 10 favorite for sure. CQ0 said, what changes have you made in your day-to-day -day life that you would say has made your life better slash easier professionally in the last 12 months, schedule, routine, etc.? Same question, but worse. Very good question. One of the main changes I've actually made is I started meal prepping a lot more this year. And meal prepping has saved me so much time, hassle, energy, money, especially. And I think that's one of the best changes that I made by far. In terms of worse, my sleep schedule. I am never, ever, ever in control of my sleep schedule, whether I'd like to think so or not. I have never controlled it. I don't know if I ever will, hopefully. But hey, by the time 2020, the end of 2023, Jack is seeing this, hopefully your sleep schedule is doing okay. It's it's okay right now, but just it gets so out of whack so easily. Okay, so I'll, I'll take Addy for this question. What other series are you planning to watch after completing Hunter x Hunter? You said you're going to react to Spy Family in a video. I love your reaction and gaming videos this year. You are awesome. Shout out you, Addy. So the Spy Family thing, I do need to watch Spy Family eventually. Next up, uh, this is like not concrete, but it kind of is concrete. After Hunter x Hunter, uh, I'm going to split both Dragon Ball Super and Mob Psycho 100. I've been wanting to start Mob Psycho 100 for a bit because as a lot of you know, One Punch Man is my favorite anime of all time. It's number one for me. Number two, number one. It kind of goes back and forth. But Mob Psycho 100 and Dragon Ball Super are going to be split. And after that, uh, you can check my analyst. It's just analyst.co.com slash iShinobi. It shows all the stuff that I'm planning on watching eventually. Omarok said, do you watch anime off camera? If yes, which ones? Also, I love the content. I did uh, like kind of before I started the reaction channel and a little bit into, but not really anymore. Uh, I mostly just binge Hell's Kitchen and MasterChef. My goodness gracious, Gordon Ramsay is just captivating. Zinio said, if you have a time machine, which anime you're going to tell yourself not to watch in the past, if any, or the one anime you tell yourself to watch immediately? So in terms of this question, I don't think you should ever regret watching something or like even just like anything in life. You shouldn't ever live with regret, whether or not it's like a, a really detrimental choice or not. Not detrimental would be watching an anime and wasting a little bit of time or a really detrimental choice. I feel like living to regret is just kind of a waste of time. So then I would never tell myself to go back in the past and not watch because it's just part of the experience is watching stuff you're not going to like and finding out whether you like it or not. One anime you tell yourself to watch immediately. I wish I had started One Piece sooner. I really do. There's so much content I want to make on it and that I can't because it's so long. It would be really hard to make content on the show whenever you're a fifth of the way through and everybody else is caught up. So I wish I'd be a little bit further through One Piece, but either way, I'm enjoying the journey through it. Joseph said, hijack your reaction to DBZ Battle Gods and Freezer Movie would be on YouTube. Yes, it will be. I'm really loving your content, especially the Dragon Ball videos. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Joseph. Hope it's a good one, man. Oscar Garcia said, which anime do you think has the best soundtrack? Like stuff you would listen to even when the series or season ends. That's also a really good question. I'm still not super, uh, I don't think very cultured in terms of anime. I've seen a decent amount, but still not a lot in comparison to some other people. Some off the top of my head, I think the Hunter x Hunter, uh, that one theme, you guys know exactly which one I'm talking about. That one lives rent free in my head. Uh, MHA has some really good ones. Attack on Titan has some really good soundtracks. I would say Attack on Titan, MHA, and uh, and Hunter x Hunter. Again, that sounds kind of basic, but those are the three that kind of come off the top of my head. Naruto has some really good intros as well. Double B said, when did you get into anime? Were you hesitant about watching it for the first time? Absolutely. I thought it was, I thought it was silly and goofy. Like a, a lot of people that kind of like the stigma surrounds it are affected by. I watched, uh, I watched the first episode of My Hero Academia and I thought it was, I thought it was so dumb. Uh, and I dropped it and I was like, I'm never watching anime again. And then like a couple months later, my friend got me to start One Punch Man. And that's why I kind of say One Punch Man is my favorite of all time is because One Punch Man was sort of my gateway drug. I, I watched the first episode of One Punch Man. I was like, I get it. And then I finished One Punch Man. I was like, all right, what do I watch next? Zuri Fraser said, can we start posting a board on YouTube and Patreon again? The recent anime arc and Sasuke and code arc coming up is good content. I am starting to try to post uh, Sas the Sasuke arc and the code arc. Uh, once it does come back, I'm, uh, I'm sort of planning it for the schedule. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. And focus says, how long are you planning to keep making YouTube content? As long as you guys will let me until the day I die. Honestly, I just, uh, I feel like there's just some things that you feel like you were meant to do. And I'm not saying I was just meant to make YouTube videos, but whatever path I go down in life, whatever I end up doing in the future, whatever I go on to do, hopefully great things. I hope that YouTube and just uh, this community is a part of it at the end of it all. Which anime in 2023 are you most excited for? Says Claw Claw Ely. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. A uh, Jujutsu Kaisen season two coming. 
coming back. I'm very excited for JJK. Riley Bearhugger says, who's your favorite villain in One Piece so far? So again, I finished any Slobby, but I think Crocodile is still my favorite villain. His design is just so, so sick, man. And that laugh. Uzumaki Nagato said, how are you favorite type of music? A rap by far. The top five is Kendrick, Logic, Ski, Doom, and probably Juice World. Gaming S said, Pell, Smasher, Pell? Like the Falcon from, from One Piece? Rusty said, do you play hockey? No, man, I wish I did though, but I, I love watching the stars play. Neil Parmar said, what are you proud of, but never have an excuse to talk about? That's a great question. I actually am really proud of the, the YouTube channels I have built, but I never like bringing them up, even whenever people ask. It's just mostly like the older generation. They're like, what do you do for a living? I'm like, oh, I, I do YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. And like, I'm super proud of that, but it's kind of confusing to explain. You know what I mean? So it, it, I never wanted to come off as like braggadocious. So that's why I never bring it up in general. I'm never just like, oh yeah, I do YouTube, by the way. People usually have to like pull the information out of me, but I'm so very proud of everything I've done. I, I really am and all the work because I, I especially know the work that's gone into it. Lance said, what is based? Also tips on becoming a streamer, perhaps a roadmap on what to get and do as a starter. I mean, in terms of what to do as a starter, you just have to start making stuff you love. I started Check the Bus because I liked making fun Call of Duty videos and whatnot, and that has slowly evolved over time. You're never going to make your channel and it's going to turn into exactly what you want right away. It's kind of like a, a baby that you have to watch grow up. Uh, same for Aishinobi. I think the editing and the way I ran Aishinobi back whenever I started Naruto Shippuden is not exactly in any remote way how I would do it now. But again, it's just kind of like a learning process. But you just got to post videos that you really, truly like and enjoy making. Just do it consistently. You know what I mean? Scared Pancake 78 says, do you think the One Piece is Nami and Robin oiled up twerking on Luffy? Okay, I, I got I to gotta shut this down. No, but seriously, guys, that's it for me. I don't want this video to go on too long. I did want to answer some of your questions. I hope I got some of the important ones. But yeah, I, if there's one takeaway from this video, I think this was a year of learning. I should have like a, a sort of like a word that I fit in that to describe every year. Every year is a year of learning, but this one especially uh, has felt uh, very different in comparison to the past few. And I'm glad I have these sort of bookmarks to see where I'm at uh, in terms of my headspace and everything with YouTube and all of that every single year. But yeah, I just want to thank you guys for being here, uh, especially if you made it to the end of this video. I know not everybody is that intrigued by me as a person and just wants to see me yell or cry to animate, which that's totally fine. But seriously, thank you. We'll be back to it uh, tomorrow with just regular uploads. Again, I'm going to try to upload every single day of the year. We will see how it goes. But stay safe. Have a fantastic New Year's Day. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.